outcome of the 2023 presidential election, but I'd like to have your own assessment of what played out over the weekend up to Wednesday when the winner of the election was declared by INEC. Well, it was clear to everybody except to those who are in, in the corridor or those who are deceiving Nigeria. There was, no, there was no victory for. There's a, there's, the thing is echoing, what are you doing? I don't want my voice to be echoing. There's a technical fault there, I don't want, I don't want to be misrepresented. Okay, are you okay now, sir? You can Have continue. you this? It? Yes, it's been corrected. I said, and so that election, <laughs> that was no result. What they have done for Jinubu is that what they have done to uh, the FIDIA of that government, Shonekon, it was party victory. And as the, uh, the leader of the Labour Party has said to be, we will prove it in court. It cannot stand. I listened to the chairman of INEC when the, the, the nominee tell you, well, suspend. It is a council. There's a lot of irregularities in the result we are having. Don't, why don't you let us correct them before we proceed? He said, no. I promise you, go and play that tape at the centre. Let me complete this exercise, I will review. As for uh, the chairman, those of us who know him, know that there has not been the man that should be. It's a great disappointment. And this is not the first time he's, uh, he's appointing Lagos people. In 2019, he deceived us. And now he has come to the day, it's a game. They are playing, thinking that Nigerian people are fools. And I said it before, on this election, nobody can babangi the house and get away with it. And I'm repeating it. This is like daylight robbery. You gave us, the whole country supported you to amend the electoral law to show that it should be transmitted by electronic means. We fought tooth and nail to support you. And now at the time of election, now you come back to what we have been fighting against. What a shame. I'm only sorry for the country. I'm only sorry for you, youth. But I warned you before, this government is a disaster. And that's why you are feeling everything now. They have no principle, no idea. They obey the law court when they sue them. They disobey when they close them. They are now shouting about obeying the court law because of his currency. When the man said they should release uh, Igbo, the court said they didn't do it. One of the, uh, the security man, they have, they, uh, they have been put in detention since they have come into power. Um, I don't remember his name now. Because security officer of, of, of uh, Jonathan. One of the several, this man from Kanu, or Kanuno, the, uh, the leader of the uh, 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 Shish uh, people, up to the Kowas, they told them, open, just say you don't know. They told him that you have no right to keep uh, uh, in the Kanu. But now that it concerns them, because clashing with their interests, they are now shouting, obey the law, obey the law. It is not the result of a, of a bad government, a disaster that God will help us to get rid of. I can assure you, there is no government, there is no president elect at all. It is just a sham which will be proved in due course. Don't, don't, don't play on it at all. This is a game we all see. We are all living with justice to see. 
Why don't you follow the law that you buy the election? That's just peaceful. Those who are criticizing, they leave the issue. They take up our own BJ. It is the man saying that the man says, you have not done A, B, C. Reply to that. You pick up the messenger. On this occasion now, it is not a question of whether you, you win or not, but is it the method the law provides for the release of the election? Have you followed it? Let them answer that. That's the problem. Why are you thinking about the bush? Well, Paade Banjo, thank you for that uh, answer. A few months back when we, uh, into, actually it was just a few weeks back, you, uh, there was a clip going around and you in, you minced zero words in this clip. I'll summarize. You pretty much said that we are in a war, that this is not an election, it's a war for us to get out of the bondage of our oppressors. We do know what the results are now. And we know that the Labour Party and the PDP will be, I guess, escalating this and taking it to the Supreme Court. In your opinion, seeing as how things unfold in this country, especially within the judiciary, is this the right way for them to seek out redress? Or what are your opinions on how they they're going about trying to get justice for the way that the uh, elections unfolded. You know, James Dugway, this country has got to a place where if justice is not done and seems to be done, the people will react. All that the government is saying is warning you against doing the right thing. As a lawyer, I support going to court. I will condemn the Supreme Court in spite of all their past record, which is not credible. I will still say, let us go there. But I can assure you, if many of you are alive by the time they talk of Wild Wild West, what called the Wild Wild West in those days in the Western region is that the people revolt against the, against the result of a clear election in the Western region. That was what led to wild, wild west. It was spontaneous. So if the people do, do, if the judgment does not reflect the justice of the case, it is the people will react. I will talk about that. I'm not raising any alarm, but I warn them. This country, the use of this country, will not take lying low for anybody to cheat them. And, uh, and, give, and do what is called daylight robbery and say it's an election. Now, who say more? I only know that the, the, the man has not won election that has been read for him in a blatant manner in a society where we have people, where we have professors that are not that unfortunately, it is the professors that are reading election, which is unfortunate for us. But the youth will not agree. I know that. It is not raising any alarm. It's not the result of injustice. You, cannot, you cannot have peace without justice. You can't have political stability without justice. And what follows that, you will follow. It is not that I never said I say this. It is just the normal issue of events. When, when, when they didn't obey Dasuki, Dasuki has been there now for about four years. None of these governors are not serious about it. Over the time, father goes to court, then we say, no. It is now that now say, obey the court, obey the court. Okay. But that concerns Nasuki. But this concerns the 200 the, the Nigerian voters. If you do any justice for them, it is left for them to react. As for me, I've told you, I'm only expecting the day, the day of departure. Next one, I'll be 95. What's my business? I'm only doing, I'm still in the trenches because of the use, because of the young men coming behind. If you don't get rid of this Shenanagan government, by the time you are suffering, I will enjoy myself in the grave. Well, Chief.